Hi, my name is Patrick, and I'd like to welcome you all to the Twitch premiere stream of Firmament by the folks over at Cyan. I am very privileged today to be able to host this for you all. If you have any questions about this game, please feel free to let me know in chat. I'll be able to try out practically everything I can. We're not on any sort of a time schedule here. I'm just here to show this game to you guys so you can check it out. I also wanted to mention that this game is currently having a Kickstarter, so if you click on that link in chat, you can go over and help fund the game. We're really wanting this to get funded and we're getting closer, but we need everybody's support to get there. So without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get this started. And thank you very much, Sporks, for the follow, by the way. And what I'm going to be doing also, just to, to give some context here, is... There is a flat screen version of this game and there is a virtual reality version of this game. And I'm going to be starting by playing the flat screen version first. Once I'm done that, we'll take a quick pause. I'm going to have to set up my VR equipment really quick and make a few technical changes so that I can stream from it. And then I'll hop through and I'll play through the demo again in virtual reality. In addition to that, I want to note that this is very much a technical demo. It is not a completed version of the game by any means. It is also not uh, representative of how the game might end up being. It could completely change by the time it comes out. But all of this depends on everybody funding it. So again, please click on that Kickstarter link and give a pledge to the game on Kickstarter. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and right click and say hi to our little friend here who's going to come over. And then I'm going to tell him to go, uh, let's go play. So as you can see in the flat screen, it's kind of... Uh, no, it's the same version of the game. So I, I launch the same version and it launches in flat screen or it launches in VR depending upon what equipment you have booted. So right now my VR headset is off and I'll launch the same version of the game to play it in VR. Thank you for that question, Sporks. Whoa. Oh, whoa, okay. Oh, hey. I, um, well, that was interesting. Thank you, little friend over there. Whoa. Okay, so right now I'm playing the flat screen version. I'm just using my mouse to look around. And this is, uh, oh, okay. And WASD controls to move. It looks like I was encased in one of these things and just got broken out. So thank you, machine thingy, for choosing me to get out. It's kind of these ice-looking sculptures. These are kind of cool. I also want to say, if there's anything in particular you want me to stop, go back, look at in farther detail or anything like that, I'm more than happy to do so. Hey, Barco588, thanks for joining in on the stream. I'm a really big fan of Cyan Games too. Um, I've played all of the Myst Games, Uru, as well as Abduction. Uh, I was actually one of the backers for Abduction as well. I'm gonna go ahead and poke around here and see what we can see. Oh, if you hold down, oh yeah, if I hold down shift, I do sprint, so that moves pretty quick. Might actually want to tweak my mouse sensitivity down a tad. There we go. So my understanding is that um, they will add a free translation movement version to the VR version, but uh, Cyan will also take feedback. There is a Discord channel that you can get to from the Kickstarter link that I have up in chat. So if you head over to that, join the Cyan chat discord and you can ask and give them feedback there as well. Okay. There's these, these kind of like ice cocoon things because it doesn't look like this cavern was um, was recently dug out. It looks like this has been here for a while and I was encased in ice. Oh, I apologize. I might have a link turned off from anybody be from but myself right now, and I will fix that later. But like I said, click on that firmament, firmament Kickstarter link, and the Discord link is also on there. All right, let's... Uh, oh, man, this is some amazing detail on this machinery. I like the lighting as well. All right, let's see what's over here. Oh, hello. We live in a world where automatic door opening technology exists. And that makes me happy because I don't have to um, tire myself out trying to turn gears and cogs and things. Thank you for opening. That was very kind of you. Oh. 
the detail on the the rust and the kind of wear and tear on this is really cool too attention to detail is awesome and that's a really thick door so i guess is this is everything else going to melt now well if it didn't melt up to this point i guess it would wouldn't going forward okay let's take a look and see what we can do can i turn the brightness up I don't think that there is a brightness option, unfortunately, but it does get brighter as the demo goes forward. So once we get out of this area, then uh, the brightness will get better, I believe. Oh, hello. That's not a fun fate. Oh, hello. that have come before you and what shortly lies ahead. I could have mentored you. Yeah, me too. Passed on the knowledge that was passed to me. But now I'm dead. So she was saying that uh, I'm lucky and that the knowledge that she passed would have been passed to me, but she's dead. Hmm. Let me take a brief pause here and I'll turn the volume up. So just a second. That should be better. There we go. So we got a little friend here now who's who's kind of looking at me. Oh, that's cool. Like the little elevation effects. Unfortunately, the tech demo does not have subtitles. Um, but when I play it through the second time, it'll be a bit louder. And I'll be doing that on the VR version a little later. A bit, yeah, kind of a, an odd atmosphere. So I'm supposed to be able to wave, and my friend comes, oh, hello, oh, following me now. Will you follow me in here? Hey, that's cool, hi. How are you doing? Oh, oh, I can grab hold. Ah. So what I'm playing right now, again, is the flat screen version, so all of these controls are just keyboard and mouse at the moment let go and you you oh you take off you kind of take care of yourself do you stay there until I say otherwise hi friend yay friend oh, okay you kind of like yeah I want to I want to hang out with you okay and then there's a pointer I believe and I can say go over there but I guess there's nothing to do so it's not going there oh I didn't look at this previously can you go up there no nothing of interest up there that's cool. Okay, here we go. It looks like there's a door. Come, go over there, please. No, over, over there? Over there. I'm pointing over there. Go over there. Yes, good job. You get a cookie. Whoa. Ooh. Come on, friend. I don't want to leave you behind. Come back. Oh, they must have recently added the demo then. Or the, the text. Why aren't you? You don't want to come? You're done? Oh, there you go. Yay, come with me. And welcome to the channel, Mist Explorer. You as well, Homunculate to do and Metal Slime. Whoa, look at... The, holy cow. The scale on this is huge. See, I, I like relevatory things like that, where you step out and it's like, oh, there's all kind of... But look, oh, that's somewhere I could end up. That is really cool. So you tried the demo out at PAX East? How was it? Did you play on the flat screen or the VR version? We're we're out of doors. Man, I, I want to go up there. Maybe we can get there. Let's ex let's take a look around. Whoa, oh, oh, it's a ravine or chasm. Very cool. I'll be playing the VR version after I do the playthrough on the flat screen version. I wanted to give folks a chance to see what it would be like in both, whoops, in both modes. Oh, thank you for, okay, yeah, hi, hi. Hi, friend. You know, I, I kind of want to give this guy a name, but, or, or gal, for that matter. But I think we're just going to leave you nameless for now. Maybe when I actually do my own playthrough at some point in time, I'll do that. Oh, okay. 
Why don't you go there? That looks like something you can do. I will be testing on the HTC Vive. Um, a friend was loaning me an Oculus Rift, but unfortunately, uh, he had to take it back. So I only have the HTC Vive today. An adjunct, adjunct, adjunct? Hey, Bob Wiley, thanks for joining in. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this game in VR as well. It performs really well on my system too. I don't have a super high-end rig, so it is, um, but it runs well. And this is just the technical demo. Okay, come follow me. Whoa. Okay, so don't stand on that thing when you when you bring your friend back. Magic Steampunk Ghost. That's a good name for it. Wow, look at you. The, the detail off in the distance is amazing. And that thing is not small. Scaled to the mountains. Wow. I don't know. Let's find out. So I'm going to go back to the bridge. And uh, presuming I can just plug you in there. There you go. <laughs> well, the science games are not known for having death situations. Oh no, it's saying no, I don't want to. I'm not going to I'm not going to so it's, it's 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 a nice little steampunk adjunct. It's not going to um to let me do something bad to myself. So thank you for that. It's very kind of you. It does like me, aren't you, the cutest little steampunk thing ever? I see this quickly becoming the next companion cube, guys. Seriously. You can die, but the... So, death in Cyan games does happen, but it's a result of choices made, not of things actively happening in the environment. So, it's not like your normal... I, would, I shouldn't say normal. It's, lo it's not like many games where death can be a result of something you're actively doing. It's usually during a conversation or as a result of... Something else along those lines. Wow, hi, little friend. So, with this, it's got some cool art. Whoa. Okay, I didn't look at this. And this looks like some sort of a digging, or did it land? Oh, it looks like it's kind of got tubes going into the ground. That's really cool. All right, let's move on. See what else we can see. And I'm going to plug this again here if you haven't already. Please be sure to check out the Kickstarter campaign for this. We need people to fund the game so that we all can enjoy the full thing when it comes out. Because it will come out. I swear. It better. I'm looking forward to playing this. Okay. You go there, please. Ta-da! Oh, the, the gear work on this is pretty cool, too. Oh, I can't duck. There's no crouching. Yeah, so environmental music is really important in games like this. And it's good to have strong environmental music and cues at certain points in time. And then in others to have no music at all. So that you just kind of get immersed in the whole thing. Alright, little friend. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to venture forth. It's always nice, especially in games like this, when the devs try to make sure you won't accidentally kill yourself or fall through the map, etc. Especially if whatever the save point system is, is far apart. I agree. Cyan in the past has, to my recollection, made a save point system so that you can save at any point that you want to. Hmm, excuse me. Whoops. I have the wrong button pressed, I'm sorry. There we go. Come, little friend. Now, what I, what I can already see, puzzle-wise, is I see them doing something where you, you have to place something on the bridge and then get the guy to move to come off of the bridge and then that thing falls down and makes something else happen. There's going to be a lot of fun interactions in this game. Oh, man, look at that distance. I also like the snow particle effects. Uh, oh, yes, I know. Okay. Goodness. It's, you're like a puppy. You want to be held all the time. <laughs> okay, we'll hold on to you for a little while. Next bridge. Oh. Um. Oh. You don't like this. He's, look at this. He's even looking at me like, what are you trying to make me do? What are you trying to make me do? I don't, I don't know. That's not right. 
<laughs> I'm getting scolded. Oh gosh. Okay, maybe you maybe you can go over there. Let's try that one. So this is this is great user interface design as they show points where things can happen. So they give you a visual indicator that you can do something over there. That's really cool. I want to know what's up there too. Hi friend. Okay, come along. We're going to carry you for a while since you seem to want so many cuddles. Oh, hello. Actually, just float over there for a bit, please. There's some pretty intense pipe work going on here. So what about you all? What Cyan games have you played in the past? Or better yet, what's your favorite Myst game? Oh gosh. Well, it looks like we have to go in before we go up. Does the sphere follow you around automatically? Sort of. So... And welcome to the chat, Praxis123. You can wave to the sphere, and it'll it'll kind of say, Oh, I'm coming. Um, I've tried picking up the sphere and dropping it. So if I drop the, the little adjunct, he kind of just floats and then starts following me again automatically. If I assign it to a specific, like, drop point, like I say, go over here and do this thing, please, it stays there. So I can just leave it there and walk away, and it'll stay there. So let's try this. I'll walk over this way a bit and see it's not following me at the moment. Riven. I really enjoyed Riven as well. I remember playing the five-disc changer version in the mid to late 90s. And the puzzles on that one were really intense and fun. And then I can wave. And it'll come follow me after I wave. So it seems like whenever you tell the companion or adjunct to do something, it'll continue doing that task. Missed very long ago, like early middle school. I don't even remember. I should probably replay. I agree. And you know, I'm probably going to do a playthrough of Real Mist after this um, sometime over the next week to see if more people will be interested in the Kickstarter for this game, Firmament. So let's go ahead and head on in. Yeah, Real Mist. I'm almost tempted to see if I could play a VR, like, you can do sort of flat 3D VR in Real Mist, but I, yeah, Cyan would have to fix that. There's a lot of other interesting things going on. Let's see what's in the cave. The first one I ever beat entirely was Mist 3, so it kind of has a place in my heart, even though it was developed by Presto and Cyan, only published it with Ubisoft. Mist 3 was interesting. I like that it expanded the story outside of Atrus and um, his immediate family and gave us a little bit of a different perspective on the the Denis culture. Hi, friend. Oh, gosh. You know, sometimes I just want to look at you. I don't necessarily want to be like, show me your handle. Hello. Hello. Okay, let's move on. So the, not just the writers of this game, Praxis, but the actual company Cyan is making this game. So they're, Cyan made... Mist, Riven, and Mist 5. Mist 3 and 4, which would be Exile and Revelations, were made by Presto Studios with Cyan's kind of input and guidance. Cyan also made another game called Real Mist, uh, also known as Uru. Sorry, Real Mist was a 3D version of Mist. And they made another game called Uru, which is a kind of a late expansion to the Mist universe. And then finally, I uh, think about two years ago, they released a newer game called Abduction which is completely unrelated to the Mist universe and set in a completely different place. If you haven't tried it out, I highly recommend it. It's available on GOG and Steam. But right now, we are trying to raise funds for this puppy right here. So if you're interested, please click that link and check out the Kickstarter as well as spread it around. Also, if you happen to have a Twitch channel, you can host my current stream by going to your own channel and typing in the chat box slash host hi underscore pat underscore trick. Whoa. Friend, I want you to, to go over there. Oh, okay. We're just going to hold on to you so you kind of stay out of the way for a moment. But take a look at this. It's full-on elevator architecture going on right now. And the music stopped. They uh, Somebody mentioned earlier the environmental music in this game, and it's really nice. Oh, gosh. Miss TV, and then there's the, the three novels and the fourth novel, which is forever being written as far as I know. The scale of this is really cool. I like that they've they've made a large scale. It, it gives you this sense of, of being tiny in a big world. So let's step in the elevator. Uh, and let's go ahead and plug you in. 
There we go. Oh. Oh, hello. There's a lever. All right, we can interact with levers and go up. Oop. Looks like there was a snap to right there. Thank you for the host. Mope for freedom. So we're going, we're going up. Oh, there's no safety barriers. I also can't move right now. It looks like it's locked me into a stationary position for my own safety. And the uh, architecture. I wonder if this is a winch lift or if it's a cable lift. It looks like it's a, it's got its own self-driving gears. I don't know. It would not be a cyan game without an elevator. I agree to that. In early games, elevators were very much a way to create transition states between uh, different parts of a game where they would need to do load screens or other sorts of things to hide when they were loading things. No, there is a central cable winch. There it is right there. Lifting me up the middle. And then the guide track is just making sure it doesn't sway, I suppose. Okay, come on, friend. I, I am already in love with just waving. Yeah, Kickstarter is $30. If you go for the $49 level, you get a few extra levels in, uh, sorry, extra content bits in the game that are only available through the Kickstarter. And I believe if you jump up to the $70 pledge level, it comes with the soundtrack, which is made by this guy whose name I can't recall for the moment, but I'm sure someone for chat will chime in and have that correctly done. That person uh, did music for World of Warcraft and a bunch of other Blizzard games as well. Okay, come here. Well, we're about to go past where the PAX demo ends because there is more to see. So let's take a look. Oh, look at, so there's, there's the winch motor and it kind of goes up through this pulley system straight over to there. Russell Bauer, thank you very much, Sporks. That is the composer of the music for this game. So if you pledge at the $70 level, then you get a copy of the soundtrack, uh, digital, I believe, as well. And if you really like physical, physical collectible boxes, uh, the next pledge level up from that comes with a full box from the game. And then I think it goes up from there with all kinds of cool goodies and fun things that you can snag. And if you're watching this for the first time and had never heard of this game, please spread the word. We want people to be backing this game. We're all super excited for Cyan to make it. But unless they get the funding, they won't be able to make the game. So spread the word. And thank you very much, Eric, for the host. I appreciate it. Okay, we've gone up, but it looks like the only way to go is forward. And some cool... Nepalese like flags going on for the, the upstairs hiking. We got the, our, our iced waterfall Going on and Eric if you haven't heard of this game, I'm just gonna pop this really quick again Nope, that didn't work. Let me press the button again work button. There it goes Please check out the Kickstarter for this game It's currently underway of being funded and we have 13 days left to get it to 100% if we get it to a little bit past 100% then they will also make a Mac version of the game, as well as port it to the PlayStation and PlayStation VR. Right now I'm playing the flat screen version of the technical demo. Oh, what happens? Let's does do should I try dropping off the cliff? Do we want to see what's gonna happen? I don't know. That might be a little mean to do to my friend. He's been helping me out. Yes? Okay, that's one yes. If I get three yeses, then then off the cliff. Don't do it to me! Yeah, sure. Okay. One more. And away it goes. Okay. Bye, friend. Oh. You're good at flying. Look at that. <laughs> Compatriot core. <laughs> hey, Tempting Reason. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> he flies. Yeah, I can even, like, kind of try to chuck him. Go over there. Is there anything over there? You don't, you don't want to... You don't want to go over there? You go over there? He's like, no. No, I don't want to do that give a wave. Hello. All right, let's move along. Oh, hey, here's something. Oh, and we're a little bit closer to our ominous structure. All right. What do we got going on here? Oh, hey, come here. Where, are you, where did you go? There you are. Hi. Let's plug you in. All right. Pull the lever, Kronk. Um, 
Oh, that's a bummer. So if the Kickstarter is not funded, um, and hello, Metal Slime. No, you were here earlier, duh. The Other Lover! That's a fun movie. If the Kickstarter is not funded, this is just a technical demo. So these, this will end in a little while here. I played through it once just to make sure it ran smoothly on my stream and on my computer, and it runs beautifully. I have a 1080 graphics card and a processor from 2012 and about 8 gigs of RAM, and the game is loading from an SSD. So it runs well for a system as old as mine is, uh, except for the graphics card. That said, if it doesn't get funded, then this is all you'll get to ever see of it. You won't get to play it, and there won't be really anything going on. Um, looks like there's a... Whoops. Yes, please come here. Okay, let's try this. Charge the power. Oh, we are fully charged and ready, sir. Okay, let's... No, come here. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Okay, you don't want to come here. I'm going to ignore you then. Hey, Spy High, welcome to the stream. We are demoing Firmament, which is the Kickstarter game that Cyan's doing. I want you to go over here, please. Will you go over here? No? Oh, whoa. Oh, it's losing charge. I have a li Oh, gosh. Okay, let's do this. 1080 is old. Hey, 1080, by this point, is like... Last gen's graphics card? People are getting 260s, 270s, and 280s at this point. Okay. Come here. Go over here, please. And there is a likelihood that Cyan will be able to find alternate means of funding, but let's not make them have to go through that. Let's just fund the game. Okay, go here, please. Go, 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 quickly. I have to pull the lever. Pull the lever. All right, we pulled the lever. So Sporks is saying, if it doesn't meet the goal, I would be surprised if Cyan didn't find another way to get funding, but they would end up with more limitations in input from whoever was throwing money at them, and history has shown us that Cyan can produce the best things when they're entirely in artistic control of what they're creating, and I would also like to say publishing control as well. Alright, we, we powered the mysterious contraption. Huh. So, here's a question for you guys. Do you think that this is an elevator or something else going on? I, I... This looks like it might be a teleporter? Oh, I love the decor. The, the carpet is beautiful. Oh, there's another slot. Okay, I have to go get my friend. Come back. Come with me, friend, please. Oh, okay. I'm gonna wave you away from it and then come play. There we go. Thank you. Ye old teleporter, yes. We would like to welcome you to the latest in teleportation technology. Come and see what we do when we go inside the teleporter. The amazing teleportation of the people. Okay, we've got another lever. Everything is gear related. That's cool. So if I... Can I wave you away from that? Nope. You are stuck. You don't want to come with me. Oh, gosh. She's all like, I am nestled at home now. I'm not going anywhere. All right. Throwing the lever. We're locked in. Oh, crazy things are happening. Lots of electric flashiness. Time machine, oh gosh. Are we going back in time? Thank you very much, Barco, very much for the pledge. It is greatly appreciated and will help us get closer to finishing this Kickstarter. Well, look at that. We certainly ended up somewhere else. Wow. You coming with us, friend? No? You're done? Hello? Okay, everybody say bye-bye to our friend. I don't know that, that he's going to want to come with us anymore. Bye. So, just to give an idea of the controls, that's just right-click to summon the adjunct, and then left-click is my pointer. So they're sort of simulating the virtual reality interactions with two button clicks. And it does the same thing. It's like your, it's like the original. So grab is if you walk up to it close enough and you just left click. Um, if it w if I wasn't at a point where it wouldn't let me take out or rather if I was at a point where it would let me take the adjunct out then the little lever would pop up and I'd be able to grab and walk away. Yes, sad face binding of Isaac. I love that game. I stream that game a ton, but we're not talking about that game right now. We're talking about this game, which looks like I'm now way underground. Oh, does anybody recognize this texture? Because I know I do. 
That is a classic texture right there. That is correct. It is the roof of the library on Mist Island. Some really good spectral highlights on those uh, gently wafting banners. So I, I think we teleport it because it doesn't look like this thing physically moved anywhere. It looks like it's pretty bolted on to... Oh, no, maybe. Maybe we did move because look at the, the structure. It looks like this is a docking point, not so much like a permanent addition. I wonder if that rug is from something in, in Cyan. I don't recognize it um, right off the bat, but okay. And I love the color. This this looks a lot like um, Tamana, like the doors outside of that. And a bit of Bioshock in there too, I agree, Bob Wiley. All right, well, let's, uh, can we go over here? Nope, can't go over there. Can we go over here? Nope. Well, it looks like we're going forward. Must explore these realms and know. Quickly go to master them. For you are a thread of hope for opening the gate. And preparing for the arrival. Vite di la shona me fere recuri firmamentum. Okay, and that wraps the demo. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to take a brief pause here. I'm going to exit out of the game. I'm going to set up my VR headset and rig. And then I'm going to come back and I'll play through the same demo again using the HTC Vive. So give me about five minutes to take care of that and make sure that everything is... Uh, oh yeah, you know, that's one of the things I really liked about it too is they put so much minute detail into this that just makes it a wonderful looking world. I really love the work that was done on it. So, I'll be right back. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Once I come back, we will continue on with the virtual reality version of the tech demo. And again, please check out the Kickstarter if you haven't done so already. Also, please, please spread this link around. We want more people hopping on and helping to support this work by Cyan because we really want to see this game come live so that the world can experience it. I will be right back. Right now, uh, here we are. We're inside the actual virtual reality version of Firmament. If you haven't taken a look at this before, uh, for those of you who are just maybe joining in or aren't familiar with this game, it is a Kickstarter being run by Cyan Games, the original creators of the Myst series and Abduction, which is another great VR game that you should try out if you haven't played it before. We are running this on the HTC Vive, but they are reportedly also going to be supporting the Oculus Rift. I also have a Windows Mixed Reality headset in my house right now, but unfortunately it's not set up. So I am not going to be demoing it at this time. Okay, thank you very much for the confirmations that it is loud and clear. We're going to go ahead and get this started. So it says here to raise one hand high above your head. Okay, hello. Oh, hey there. How you doing? Oh, hey. Just, hi. Hi, friend. We can kind of, oh, you don't want to get any, okay. So it tracks closer or farther, depending on uh, what it does. So Sporks, I have a G uh, NVIDIA 1080 graphics card in my computer, which is really good for virtual reality type work. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll point over there to the play and we'll get started. Bye. And now we are in the unknown abyss of, oh, hey, here we go. Whoa. Now it really looks like I'm inside of this thing. Look at this. The refraction is really cool. Uh oh. Oh no, don't, don't, don't do that to me. Ah! Okay. Ooh. And we're actually breaking out. The scale of this is amazing. Okay. Thanks, friend. Bye. So now we're in the virtual reality version, and uh, immediately noticeable is the fact that the scale is so much different. I feel like I'm actually standing on this podium thing. You can see the fact that you're in ice a lot better in VR. Yeah, you totally can. In the VR version, it's really clear. Oh man, the scale is just impressive. Okay, so locomotion on the current technical demo, and I want to 
stress again that this is just a technical demo. It is not a representative of the current of the final product at all. Locomotion is I press on the top of the ta of the uh, trackpad, and then I can rotate facing direction. So um, I am oh now I'm facing where I was. Hi, little pedestal that I was on, and I can also tap the edges of the trackpad to rotate around in space. So it is definitely you can tell that they have been working with the Oculus Rift specifically because of the way that the controls map. This would be the um, thumbstick on the Oculus Rift, essentially is how that control mapped. A TI, uh, oh yeah, 280 could easily do this. I don't know if they're using the ray tracing features Spy High, but a 280 could, could, could easily run this, no problem. Yeah, the scale of this is impressive. Let me move a little closer. This thing is huge. Look at this. Sorry, you gotta rotate around because I'm wrapped up in my cable. Okay, there we go. It's like gigantic. You can just reach out. This is so. I'm to give you an idea of scale. I'm six foot tall, a uh, six foot and a, an inch or so, and I can barely like reach part of the way up on this thing. It's gigantic. <laughs> you can also really get in and see the details on the 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 work. Sorry, I'm trying to avoid my VR grid. I'm not sure if that's popping up for you folks or not. But this looks beautiful, and then all the little the little highlight dots on the ground are really cool looking too. It's like flickery. There's a lot of detail that you catch in the headset that you miss. Thank you very much for backing. I appreciate it, Bob Wiley. You can't see the grid. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you for letting me know, Barco. I will not worry about trying to avoid it then. I can just freely walk around in the space and hopefully not bang into an actual wall. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, let's let's teleport around. And I know some people don't like teleportation as a movement mechanism. Um, I am thinking they're going to add some sort of locomotion. But if you want to try to put your head through the architecture, okay, Metal Slime, let me see if I can get close enough to something and see what they've done about that. Okay. So here we are. Where we've got our our nice ice block sculpture. I'm just going to do this. Okay. So they are using the, we're going to black it out if you do stuff like that method of, of not breaking immersion. So you just can't see anything. So they probably got um, a collider on this object right here. And so when you intersect with that collider, it's like, woohoo. I see. I don't see. I see. I don't see. Okay, now I see. Yes. I prefer blackout too. It looks really clean. So they've put the, the thought into this. Let me just rotate that right there. Good. Oh, I didn't even notice those. All of the um, stalactites. Stalagmites might be on the ceiling, but they're not. So stalactites. Um, yeah, you can really see all of the detail uh, up above that wasn't really visible when I was playing on the flat screen version. These are, these are things that I was missing. And the fog, the ambient fog on the ground is really more apparent as well. When I hop down here, you can kind of see it around you floating. All right, let's go ahead and move on forward a little bit. I'll take a look and see what else we can see. Wow. And man, I feel tiny in this cavernous thing. It's like I'm, I'm practically minuscule by comparison. And there's, there's our friend who helped us out. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Please um, help those other, well, I hope they're people. What if they're not people? Guys, if these aren't people, I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's like I got a degree in this stuff. <laughs> so, Spy High is making a joke. I actually just defended my master's thesis um, yesterday and passed. So, I am happy to announce that I will be a master's in computer science. And I am part of it was doing user interface interaction in virtual reality programming. So, I like to talk about it because a lot of what I do is making it so things are actually usable by think by people and making it so that, you know, if you do something like I'm going to stick my head through this, it doesn't break immersion in whatever it is that you're doing. So thank you very much for the congratulations. I appreciate that. All right. Onward. I point with both my hands justifiably. On we go. Okay, we're opening. Oh, and the lights. Say hey, that's that's something you couldn't see very much in the and there's like some detail on the Oh, that's just the framing for it. That's some more detail that you could see that you wouldn't see in the flat screen version. Okay, bye. Thanks for your help again. Oh, look at that. There's like intricate rune work or, or, or like lattice work done on the machinery. That's really cool. 
Oh, what was that? Hey, way computer science. That's what my degree is too. Not master's. Hey, yeah, keep with it, humans. It's really worth the uh, the time that you put into it, in my opinion. All right, let's move forward. We're, we're coming into the room, and I'm going to try and stay quiet. I did not put headphones on, so I won't be able to hear what she's saying, but I should be able to see visually when that starts talking, so hopefully you guys can hear it a little better than I could. Oh, yeah, you can really see all the detail. I feel like I'm in uh, the island of Kavir on the knee right now, as if I was standing in Adris's study. That's really cool. All right, let's get a little closer and say hello. Oh, nothing. Do I have to... Sorry, I have to feel out how, how much space that I have. Definitely playing this one on the Rift, yeah. I'm looking forward to this when it comes out for the Vive. But everyone has to support it. I am away from my computer, so I can't press the magic button that puts that link in right now. So somebody else paste it, please. Just copy it from one of the earlier chat things. I would appreciate it. Let's get a little closer and say hello. Hello, whoa. Hi. that have come before you and what shortly lies ahead. I go to mentor you passed on the knowledge that was passed to me but now I'm dead. Oh, that was sp spooky. Oh yeah, can't post links, duh. I will fix that then. Hold on a second. When you get the companion, try holding him and pushing him through the scenery and see how that interaction happens. Here, that, that works. Here. Actually, what I can do is if you give me a second and if you don't mind the slight disorientation, I'll actually walk over to my computer and press the special button. So just give me a second and I will do that. One and button. Yay, I did it. I'm special. Okay, we are back in the headset. There you go. So please follow that link that I just put in there. And if you're interested in seeing this game happen, please back the Kickstarter and spread it around. We want as many people as possible to see this. If you're streaming my, ch or if you're watching my channel and you are also on Twitch, you can host my channel by going to your own channel and just typing in slash host, hi underscore pat underscore trick, and it will then show my stream through your stream as well. Let's spread the word. Let's make, oh, let's make it happen. Hi friend. So I think somebody, who was that? Bob Wiley wanted me to try holding and pushing him through scenery. So let's go ahead and grab our friend. Thank you. So I've got a hold now, and, and I have free free movement interaction with this thing. Let's try pushing him through. Okay, no, it breaks the, oh, and it gives me a little no, you can't do that. Uh-uh, oh, <laughs> now it's actually tracking to where I point. Look at that. If I point up there, he's like, what's over there? What's behind me? You see, you see that thing behind me over there? Hi, friend, how are you doing? I am a robotic little thing that can kind of like, look like I'm talking, but not really. Thank you for giving me a voice. Hi, everybody. <laughs> that is cool. <clears throat> Very strong amount of detail on that. Let's see here. I, okay. Okay, I'm all caught up on the chat. I didn't miss anything. All right, come here. Come closer. I reach out and grab you. Yes. Okay, so we've got my friend. I think I can teleport. Yes, I can teleport. So teleportation is mapped to both hands. Um, and is arc based so I can teleport around things, which is nice. And I just want to get some of the detail on, on this really quick. Like we can take a look at this T set. This is your this is your classic OpenGL tutorial right here, the, the teapot and rendering one of those. And the the ice snow on the, the back of this cushion. Wish I could sit in it, that would be cool. And then our poor Waylane friend looks like they completely just had a pack. That'd be cool if I could open the pack and like take something out of it. Can you use the tea set? Let's find out. Oh, I thought I was still holding you. Oh, I did. Mm -hmm. that was weird. Let me just readjust my positioning here so I don't run into myself. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can use the tea set. Oh, holy cow, you can. I didn't try this last time. We discovered something new. We are users of the tea set, although the tracking is slightly odd from the object. Can we pour the tea? Is there any tea? No, no. You didn't make tea for us. You, you didn't make tea for us. Do you see this? Do you see this? This is tea. This is supposed to be tea. 
and I'm supposed to be having tea with all my friends here in chat. But no, there's no tea. How am I supposed to have tea? Let's, okay, look. It's been hundreds of years, probably. You have, you've just woken up. I'm not going to give you a hard time about it. We'll just, we'll just agree not to talk about it, okay? Okay, thanks. Good boy. Can I grab the... Oh, I can grab the whole tray. And it, it kind of... <laughs> we got a little bit of bounciness. What's the point? Is steep on? Maybe the tea was poisoned. Oh, no. Poison tea, guys. Ugh. <laughs> I'm not so sure I want to do that. Oh, gosh. Take, take the whole tea set with me through the whole demo. Okay, I will try. Is that, that's a challenge. Okay, so if I, if I make it through the whole demo, carrying the whole tea set. Let's see, uh, there's a little trickiness on grabbing just, there we go. Okay. If I can make it through the whole demo with just the tea set, what then? The gnome achievement in Half-Life 2, oh man. That would be pretty crazy if it unlocked something. Can you knock the tea? I did that. But yeah, you put your hand over... Oh, you're right. Thank you. You do put your hand over your head to call him. I think you can also just wave to call. Let me try that really quick. So if I wave... Yeah, if I just wave, he'll also come... Come, uh, come along. Hello. All right. Let me recenter myself. All right. We're really... We're really... We're really going to do this whole tea set thing? The whole tea set is going with us, guys? What do you think? Do you want to bring the tea set? Do you want to bring the tea set? Uh, you don't really talk, so I guess I guess can't can't do that. Okay, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to carry the tea set with my left hand, and we'll bring it with us. Now, okay, there's one caveat to this. Actually, I have to use my right hand to do it because if I use my left hand, then I can't look at chat. There's a caveat to this. If I teleport and the tea set doesn't come with me, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay, I will try but I can't guarantee anything. So let's do a test teleportation first. Sorry, guys. I can bring the tray, but I can't bring the whole tea set. How about we bring the teapot? We'll bring the teapot. Put that back down and we'll, we'll just grab the teapot and bring that with us. All right, teapot, it's you. Oh, hey, you, you are interested in the teapot. You are, whoa, look at this. We're discovering new things. This, these are things I didn't even try when I was testing this out, just to make sure that it ran earlier. You want, you want some tea? Do we give you? Do we give you some tea? Do you like tea? Yeah, have some tea. Oop. Oh. Ugh. No, we didn't like that. Okay. <laughs> you pay attention to what I'm doing, sort of. Well, now you don't, but you were. Hello. Oh, I think I changed something. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, big doors, big movement. Go ahead and go there, please. And out we go. Secret achievement confirmed. Drink tea every day. It's healthy for you. And we go from the dark inside to the holy cow, that's big. Wow. And it's really bright too. And look, oh my goodness, the teapot is silver. It's not even, we didn't know that this was a, a teapot that was silver. I thought this was bronzed or something. I also have to hold this up because my chat screen is transparent and uh, white text. So if I do this, I can't read anything anybody's saying. Good job, Patrick. Something to fix for a future stream. Okay, friend, come on. Are you coming? Are, are you coming? If I roll this one, do you? Uh-oh. Maybe if we come over here and wave. No, wait, this was a problem last time too. I have to go back in here. Let's rotate around so that there we go. And then wave. Wait, where are you? There you are. Hello, hello. Okay, yay, come with me. Hi, friend. Have some tea. Okay. Yeah, again, this is a super early tech demo. It is not by any means feature complete, and it has a few rough edges, but otherwise, man, this is amazing. Even the texture work on the ground, you can really see like the 3D nature of the rubble. It's well done. Whoa. Hi, friend. Okay, teapot. Okay, friend? Okay, on we go. If he can't see you wave, it doesn't do anything. Okay, there has to be a visual. Your reactions are interesting because you can't sense the scale from a screen. You really can't, but I want to stress that you can play this game on a flat screen if you don't have open, uh, if you don't have a virtual reality headset. Do you know if it uses tessellation for things like the ground? You know, I couldn't say 
they might do something like that, but because I'm not somebody who's on the team who programmed this, I would venture a guess that they might. But this looks like it's, um, they probably used a texture tool and put the gravel down and then painted over it with snow, saying this is where we want snow to be thicker. Or they made a program that would automatically say make snow like melt where there's sunlight, but if the snows of a certain thickness don't melt, I, I, I'm going to guess they just textured it and they didn't do anything terribly complex to do this. Oh, hi, yes, hello, hi. Want to come with me? All right. You, oh, whoa, that's funky. If I, so if I turn it towards me, it rotates. It won't let me look like directly at it. I kind of see that subtle shift right there. It's like a, a weird sort of thing. Do you know? Okay, yeah, that was the last question we had. Okay, and I can't, I can't teleport holding two things. Sorry, friend, you're gonna have to fly. Let's go. Oh man, these stairs are pretty tall too. I can like step up the big stairs. Let's see what's around this side. I want to take a look over the edge of the. Whoa. Wow. Look at that. It's like you can see all the gear work and and all the whoops. Was I leaning into some? Oh gosh. Oh oh. You know what? There's probably a safety barrier right here. So if I lean into it, yeah, it doesn't. They don't want me trying to fall off a cliff by accident. Okay. Can you balance the teapot on his head? I can try. And that's a cool pattern. Yeah, the detail on the, the grading work here. Let's see if I can stand in front of that. That is pretty cool. It looks like a kind of avant-garde would be the correct term. I don't know, honestly. I'm not an art person. All right, let's head back this way. Okay, friend. Hi there. Let's grab you and let's do the... Nope, the two don't want to interact. I cannot bounce the teapot on the head. I won't drop the teapot off the cliff. We have to take it to the end. The teapot is coming with us, okay, guys? It's us, the teapot, and the adjunct. Our, our adjunct friend and the teapot. We're not going to... No man left behind, okay? Or woman, or any person for that matter. Let's go ahead and head up these stairs. Oh, that's cool. It tracks. We can go one step, two step. Oh, that's a little weird. Three step four step and we're all the way up okay uh, all right let's make our way over here and I want to kind of wow hello hello echo echo all right friend please go over there thank you see now I can actually see when the adjunct is is like coming, my little my little clockwork friend. It's not just a matter of on the flat screen I point and he eventually shows up, but now it's like, hey, you're over there, can you go over there? And it happens. Hey, welcome, Ten Five Stringer. I joined late, so maybe you already did this, but can you call the adjunct from the middle of the bridge? Will you fall? So we tried that, and I'll go ahead and try it now. And if I come over here and I look back and I wave to the adjunct. He gives a little shrug, like, no, I don't want to do that. And he's kind of doing that over in the distance right there. So if I wave, he's like, no, I'm not going to let you get hurt. The adjunct is our friend and won't let us fall off the bridge, which we're in the middle of right now. So let's go ahead and uh, continue across the bridge. All the way to the end here. And we can wave our friend. And now he'll come join us and the bridge will collapse. Hi, friend. Aren't you a good little boy? You want some tea? Tea? No. You know, sometimes I wonder if you like tea, or if you were just teasing me earlier. Tea teasing? Oh, that's a bad pun. I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me for that one. Okay, let's... What is that? I'll back at 70 if the teapot makes it to the exit. You have a deal. We're gonna make it. Uh, there's a caveat to that, though. If something forces me to drop the teapot, like something moves or something makes it so that the teapot uh, hat gets forced out of my hand. I have no control over that. So that's 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 the caveat. Otherwise, I will make it with the teapot all the way to the end. Let's go. Oh, hi, friend. I wave and you go hello, and then I carry you. Look at the. So let me let me do this. I'm gonna move to a spot where there's better sunlight, and you come here. Hello, and look at the detail on this thing. Like there's a. a it looks like a, a cooling fan, right there. And the hinge that kind of pops out, another kind of cooling fan access hatch, a button of some sort. 
and uh, it's, it looks like it's it's bronzed metal because of the green tarnish on it. It's really impressive detailing. I hope the make devs make an achievement called I'm a little teapot for completing the first area with the teapot. Cyan devs, if you're watching this right now, achievements right here. Bring the teapot all the way to the end. All the way. I'm a little teapot. I can even make the little I'm a little teapot, except you can't see my arms, so... It's kind of, can you throw the adjunct, or is it just dropping regardless of momentum? Okay, let's give it a try. I'm going to take, let me just make sure I'm, I have clearance. Okay, I'm a little close to that wall. I don't want to whack into every anything here. Okay, we're clear. We're going to, do I, Do you want me to underhand toss or overhand toss? Uh, actually, I'll do one and then I'll do the other. So we'll do an underhand toss. Yeah, it does have momentum. Come on back. Come on. Okay, it takes a moment to, to respond. We'll grab it again. And then let's give it an overhand toss. Technically, green rust would be copper, which makes sense in a steampunk world. You, you are probably correct. I am not a metal metallurgist by any means. Copper. All right, and overhand toss. Oh, gosh. So it's got a lot of its own, like, paused momentum. It'll basically... It won't travel unless... Um, or or it, it's got its own sense of, of motion. Oh, that's what those are. Those are the little, the little things that make it float. It's jets. Verder, ver, verdi, verdigers, verdigers, Richard verdigers, verdigers. I can't read that. Okay, I'm gonna pause for just a second here, and I'm gonna meander over to my desktop and press that magic button again. Don't mind me while I press the magic button. There's the magic. That's not the magic button. I pressed the wrong button. That probably turned my mic on. Okay, here's the magic button. The magic button. Oh no! No! <laughs> Oh, Horatio, we knew you well. Uh, oh, well. I had to let go to, whoa. Okay, something, that that's, <laughs> that's a little funny. Okay, now we've got scale it. Oh, gosh, the, the, the scaling got screwy because I kneeled down and then I teleported. I, I can still pick it up. The tea is going to get cold. The tea is already probably cold. Boot prints. Hey, that's... Look at that. If I... Yeah. It, it makes boot prints where... I've stepped? Yeah, it does. Check that out. That's a nice, fine little point of detail that I didn't notice. Boot prints in the snow will back at 1,000 now. Done. That is a really cool point of detail. Okay. Well, as long as you're okay with chili tea, we'll be okay, okay? Okay. Let's go ahead and make our way on over to this thing, and that is huge. I would not want that thing, like, crawling over me. At all. I wonder what it was dragging, like, what fell, what fell on the ground over there. You see over there? You see that over there? And that up there? Yeah? Yeah, friend? Oh, dizzy! Okay, if it's too fast, it gets dizzy. You see over there? See the teapot? You don't want to look at the teapot. You're, you're kind of sick of me pointing at stuff. Look at the teapot. Hey, yeah, you want tea? I want tea. Okay, have some tea. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's very different in flat screen. Hey, Jeff 5 welcome to the stream. Be cool if they put boot prints between your two teleportation points. I think that would be cool, too. Right now, because I'm standing on so much snow, you can't really see the boot boot prints unless I step directly on that. They do stay, though. So if I go and I step back, more boot prints get added. It just doesn't do it between points. That is a fine point of detail, though. All right, let's 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 continue onward here. We're checking this out. I want to go over here. Look at that. You can even see this the side detail of the bridge over there. Okay, we... What? No! Where did the... I didn't let go. I didn't. I swear, I didn't let go. Oh, I didn't let go. Where did the Where did the teapot go, Gu guys? The teapot's gone. I don't know where the teapot went. It disappeared entirely. I. I don't. I. I tried. I really tried. Ugh. Does anyone see it? Because I'm not. I'm not seeing it. 
Oh no, there it is. Okay. Oh no, there there it went. Hold on. It was like there and then it wasn't. Yeah, there it is. All right, we see it. That's a teapot. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay, we're gonna stalk the teapot. You, you, I want you to go over there and, uh, whoops. Um, actually, I want you to point there. Yeah, go over there, please. Stay there. Thank you. Good job, stay there. Okay. Okay, we're gonna stalk the teapot. Okay, guys? We're gonna do this. Literally unplayable. Crawl on the ground to it. Uh-oh, not a little teapot. I wish I was a little teapot. That would be cool. Okay. We're gonna get up to this teapot. We're gonna do it nice and slow. Oh, I'm crouching. <laughs> Headspace movement, guys, not, um... Okay, and then it just disappeared. Let me try teleporting one more time. Okay, can I grab it? Is it there? It's like... Oh, it's fake. It's fake teapot, guys. Fake teapots. They're not real. I can't grab it. I can't, I can't grab it. I'm trying. It's, it's, it doesn't, uh... It was like right around here, but nothing is, uh, nothing's connected me to the teapot. Oh gosh. The world is an illusion. The teapot is a lie. What will I ever do? Oh, why? Woe is me. Hey, I didn't tell you to, oh, okay, I was waving my hand around. Not your fault. Maybe I can knock the, oh, no, there it is. Is that it? It like hit it or I hit the ground. Did I hit the ground? I didn't hit the ground. You, you are now my teapot tracker. Okay, friend, you're gonna find me a teapot. Hopefully, maybe. Maybe. I saw the teapot. No, no, no teapot. Alas, poor teapot, we knew him well. Remember right here, guys, whenever you play this game, Cyan put an achievement in. Alas, the poor teapot was lost right here. We'll put a little memorial. Thank you, we all gather here today in memory of this teapot that was with us from the beginning, wasn't he? And this teapot was so great for all of us. It promised warm tea. And we will remember the teapot. And teapot will be remembered. I think that was appropriate. I don't think I knocked it off. Um, it won't let me get very close to the edge. This is about as close as it'll let me get. Let me, where are you? Come here. Can I whack something like this? No? Because if I if I go over here, let me stand up so it doesn't mess my headspace up. We can see the teapot. There's the teapot. We just can't interact with the teapot. <laughs> what if you stand more to the left? Okay, let's try over here. And a little farther away, maybe? I'll rotate myself so that, there we go. Whoops, no, that's outside of the... Yeah, I can't, I can't see it. If I go over here, I still can't see it. And there it is. So I think if the teapot is in the play space, it doesn't render right now, unfortunately. So the, the teapot is, is forever lost to us. Farewell, teapot. Let us forge onward in memory of the teapot. Okay, so this time, instead of pointing to this, I'm going to have my friend come over here. Where are you at? There you are. And I'm just gonna push it right in there, like that. There we go, so we can force the interaction. And then we got a snowy bridge. And if I want, I can reach over it, and as you can see, the interaction handle pops up as something that I can interact with. If you get the little teapot achievement, your appearance in Mirror should become a teapot. This is all becoming lore of the game, guys. I'm sorry, Cyan. It's not my fault. I'm just the one here making the teapot happen, okay? Teapot is super important. All right. Okay, so I can I can reach over and then grab and remove. And then it deactivates the bridge. So that's one of the interactions that we can do here. And the animation is like within, within the, the collider, which is about this big probably. Hand enters the collider, grip action becomes possible. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way across. <sighs> teapots. I, I feel like my, my life is going to become teapots for the rest of this weekend. Ooh, it's a little bit of a, ooh, okay, we did. Haha, -ha, I fly, 
Look at me! I'm flying! Oh my goodness! I can fly. Ha ha ha! Gravity, take that! You can do nothing. You took my teapot from me, but you shall not take me. Ha. Uh, oh, okay. We're gonna ease our way back over onto the bridge now, because I won't lie, I have a thing with heights. <laughs> no walls on the bridge. Well, no visible walls anyway. There were kids interested in this game at PAX East, gave me hope for the future of gaming. I say, you know, there are different types of games for different types of people. Everybody likes their own type of game. I'm not going to judge anybody who likes a certain type of game versus another type of game. All types of games are for all types of people. I do happen to specifically really enjoy this type of game, though, and I hope that more people will, too. Uh, no, well, so are the hands physical objects in VR applications? So typically this hand is not an object, but there will be like a sphere around the hand that is an object. And so when that object intersects, sorry, my actual controllers are hitting each other here. When the hand intersects with something, so let me go ahead and bring my friend around here. I'm going to do a rotation and wave. Come on back. Oh, there goes the bridge. So... Because the distance between the collider object for that and my hand, as they get close to each other, you know, there's a distance. So as it gets close, it starts to interact. So there's probably a sphere around this thing. And the size of that sphere, once my hand gets within that sphere, the animation and other things occur. But this is more of like a, a game design interaction type thing. I wish there were more games like what Cyan does. They're my favorite type of game. So there are a bunch of other games like this. Uh, I'm not going to specifically talk about them today, but I will on other streams. Right now we're talking about Firmament and my friend. Hi, friend. Oh, so this hand, it tilts towards me. This hand, it tilts away from me, probably because it thinks it's my right hand. It's only got one hand animation. Come here. Yep. So we can go, hello, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing okay. I'm having a pretty good day. How about you? Well, I'm streaming this game to a bunch of people and they all want to say hi to you. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited to say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Okay, gotta go. Woof. Look at you. You can fly on your own. You don't even need me. Oh, what was that? You got mad at me? It's red now? Oh, gosh. The things I put up with you. Oh, man. I've played Mist Light games. Some are better than others. This is true. Go back and get the tray. See what happens when you leave it on the bridge. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys. We're going on a return trip. We're going to go get the tray. Come on. Right there. I'm pointing to it, please. No? Yeah, there you go. Thank you. We're going back for the tray. Teapot was lost. I'm getting Flight of the Navigator vibes from the the, the, the bot. Yes. Flight of the Navigator was one of my favorite movies when I was a little kid. I would watch that movie non-stop. Oh, wait. Come with me, please. Yeah, you'll catch up. See, look. I get to watch that. Just zoom straight towards me. Whoop! Oh, no, you weren't close enough. Come here. Come on. Thank you. Anyway, Flight of the Navigator was a great movie. Um, I watched it many times. We actually had the director for that movie come to our lab and talk about some virtual reality films that he was doing at one point in time. All right. Oh, man, I need to watch that again. been a long time since I've seen it. Likewise. All right. I played Quern. It was pretty good. Struggled with some of the puzzles. Can't wait for this to come out. Yes, by I think you, were in, you weren't in the VR programming class. That's right. So you probably didn't get to meet him. Uh, but there's some photos on the website of his visit. Oh, no. Guys. Not for lack of trying. We can, uh, we can, maybe if we knock nicely. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? No, if I poke like the... I'm gonna break a finger if I do that. Oh! Hey! Let me if I, can I, what's the thumb? Hello? Hello? Can I, can I, no? Whoa! There's, there's like a moment of transition right there where you can kind of see... That's okay. That's making my head hurt. I'm not going to do that anymore. The dream is dead, but we didn't. It's not for like a trying. Oh, it's look at you. Come here. You, you, will you go in there and reopen the door for us? Can I point to that thing in the doorway? Maybe. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this. Nope. All the way through is, is busted. We're not going to be able to do that. 
Uh, only Jen, Jen gets to have one. Cool. We were taking a class every semester. TV Trope calls this ghost butler, an invisible butler who'd close doors behind you. Yeah. I, I remember playing, um, oh, let me back up a little bit. I played Resident Evil um, when I was little, Resident Evil 2. And you, we would always make fun of the fact that when after you got rid of the bad guys in a room, uh, you'd go back to the room and it'd be completely empty, like they were all gone. And we were saying, oh, the, the ghost maid has been here. Come, friend. Hi there. Thank you. In you go. That is so satisfying to do, just as an interaction me mechanic. And just like being able to go, boom, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come over to this thing, I'm going to take this cool thing I have, and I'm going to go, bam, there it is. And then we get this really cool bridge just like floats up in front of us. Very cool. All right, let's move along here. Okay, come on. Hi, friend. Come on. Come on. Yes, we got you. Uh, what are you saying? Everybody ought to have a ghost mind. I have a ghost maid, but she doesn't seem to help my wife out much. Oh, well, needs to work more. There's the teapot. The memorial of the teapot is still there. It's right there. We sneak up to, oh my gosh, guys. Oh no, see, what? that's it. That's it, see, if I get that close, that is what is causing the teapot to phase in and out of our reality. The teapot has ascended to a new reality, entirely different from ours. Teapot will forever be remembered, though. All right, in it goes. We're gonna get across the bridge. All right, on we go. Whoops, that's a little. <laughs> I'm kind of at the edge of my my thing. So, in some teleportation mechanics, you can add something that actually shows where in your play space you are when you move, so that when you land, you're not like in midair. That is not currently in this demo. Come play. Oh, I'm telling you, the teapot is a portent of Lovecraftian insanity. Schrodinger's teapot, ghost teapot, the teapot is teasing us. This game is seriously Call of Cthulhu. No, but it is Firmament. And if you are enjoying what you're seeing, please go check out the Kickstarter. We really want everybody's support. There's also a link to the Discord for the game. You can chat with Cyan and other people who are checking out the game. I want to see that thing hit 800k today. That, that is what I'd like to see. All right, uh, let's go. Oh, right. Whoa, you didn't like that. I was like, boom, you really didn't like that. Will you go there? You're like, no, I ain't going to do that. He's like, are you serious? Are you serious? Do you really want me to? Really? No. <laughs> All right, go over there, please. There you go. And into the bridge. What do we got? Yo, mod me and I'll post the link every once in a while. I, I am in the middle of not being able to do anything at my keyboard right now, but I will do that myself. If, it, if you go to the Kickstarter page, somewhere on there is a link to the Discord. Um, unfortunately, I don't know where it is off the top of my head. But Spy High, I will make you a mod a little later on so we can take care of that in the future. All right. Good job, little friend. Let's go. Onward. Oh, big bridge. All right. Uh, let's head over here. I'm going to go down these steps. So I'm going to, like, make my way down slowly here. Sorry if that was disorienting for people. Control F to find. Yeah, if you just do a control F, I agree with... Um, oh, what's your name? Sorry, looking at it. There we go. Ah, there you go, Barco. I'm glad you found it. Thank you for the help, Bob Wiley. I appreciate it. Oh, man, yeah. Also, if you're here and you're watching this and you are enjoying the demo that I'm giving, please feel free to give me a follow on Twitch. I am new to streaming and I'm looking to stream more awesome games like this. I also have regular playthroughs of games that I do, and I'm probably going to do a playthrough of the Myst series this summer. Uh, start to finish, whole thing. And I may do it in sort of a role-playing type of manner. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and joining in. And thank you to Cyan for, let's, let's give like a, a big round of applause to Cyan for making this and then letting me have a copy of it so that I could show it to you guys. Look at how huge that is. Do you see that thing? That is crazy. That is absolutely nuts. Wow. Okay. <sighs> Actually looking for a playthrough series to get me hyped for this game. Sure thing, man. I'll be glad to do that. Let me 
let me let go of you and not worry about dropping things. This is what made me drop the teapot last time. We're going to go into black darkness. And then I'm going to post that link. There you go. We've returned. And there's your link. Mist Explorer is now full. Thank you very much for the follow, Mist Explorer. I appreciate it. All right. Let's head uphill. Oh, man. This is so... In flat screen, I want to say that this did not look very daunting. It was just kind of a hill. But now the angle of the thing, right? Sorry, I put that because I was getting my nose a scratch. The angle of this thing is really steep. So it feels like... Hi there, friend. Yes, I know you're there. If, as I kind of go up, it gets like... You can see where the, the snow has kind of like fallen on boulders. It's, it's really like... Okay, I'm huffing and climbing up this thing. Holy cow. All right, let's head up hill so you can see if we can get close to these um pipes that's some extreme stuff there okay you you're you're getting in my you're, you're getting a little in, in my way here so i'm gonna hold you out of the way you get the sorry i'm trying to see this you get the feeling of i'm out of breath just looking at this damn thing <laughs> thank you damn 684 and the bob wiley for your follows really appreciate it let's go ahead and head on up here okay we're almost Whew. Look at that. We came all the way up that thing, and now oh, we're at the top. Holy cow, the wind is howling. I'm kind of cold. Oof. Oh, man, chilly. Oh. Okay. Whew. All right. Let's go ahead and head on in to the, to the cave. We have the ice, the snow, all the detail on this is amazing. Okay, I just stop right here, lean against this for a minute, catch my breath. Okay, whew, yeah, that was quite the hike. Oh man, and I go to the gym every day. <laughs> I don't, I need to go to the gym tomorrow morning though. Okay, we are entering the stalactites, stalagmites. Okay, kind of a dark thing, the teeth. <laughs> Thank you. You're making me and stalagmates, yes. <laughs> you know, I might have gotten that backwards. Stalagmites versus stalactites. Stalagmites might be on the ground, but they're not, or they might be on the ceiling, but they're not, and I can't remember which one it is. Oh, good, you're still with us. Thank you. Can you go off to the left here? Where off to the left? Did you mean like back here really quick? Was that what you were talking about? Like over here? Like in here. That's what you're referring to, yeah? This is, uh, is there's a there's a wall here. It won't let me teleport past it. And there's no target on the other side. So I am, I am stuck. Uh, this is as far as I can go in terms of being able to move um, in that direction. That is all it will let me do. Sorry, Sparks. I tried. Oh gosh, I hope I didn't get trapped. Am I tra Oh my gosh. Oh no, what did I do? Oh no, guys, I, t I teleported outside of the... Okay. Oh no. Um, okay, we're gonna fix this. We're, ge we're gonna fix this, I swear. I may have just broken the geometry of everything. Somehow. Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh my goodness. I tried, and now I'm now I'm stuck on the other side, guys. I can't go back. Oh, gosh. Um. <laughs> I'm on the wrong side of the wall. Yeah, it thinks I'm outside of the... of the, the whole thing shifted. Maybe I can go back this way and cut, get through? Oh, dear. What am I doing? What's going on? Um. Oh, uh, no! <laughs> Oh, they should hire me for QA testing. <laughs> hey, Cyan, you know, I, I would love to work for you guys, so if, if you're hiring, more than happy to come and break things. Um, but no, this is this is something that happens, so what we'll probably do is I'll go ahead and reboot this really quick, and we'll jump right back in. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. I'm going to quit this, and we'll restart it after it's done quitting, and then we'll zoom through. But guess what that means? That means we get our teapot back, guys. All right, relaunching the game. Uh, teapot part two attempt two P teapot we'll make it happen okay hi there friend come over here please and then i want you to go over there please t 
teapot, take two. It's gonna happen. And just verify for me real quick that you guys can actually see this, because uh, I want to make sure that uh, it caught the correct window for the stream. So just give me a quick uh, notification in the chat that you can actually see the game. Okay, okay, thank you for the confirmation. I appreciate that. Okay, so we're inside the ice block. We get freed by the, the machine that's going to grind us out. Whoa. That is trippy. I feel like my legs are actually becoming free as it moves. Okay, thank you, ice freeing machine. Let's go get us a teapot. I'm excited to meet our teapot friend. All right. You gonna make me a teapot emote? I think that that if I make it to, uh, yeah, those those things are either so. These things are either other people or other creatures. We are not told what um, what they are at all. We have no clue. This could be like, um, you know, a, a person trapped in this poor thing, or it could be a um, a monster. We have no clue, none whatsoever. Feels like a real dangerous way to free someone from an ice cocoon. Yeah, you know, hey, it worked. I'm still alive. I survived the um, the mechanics of the whole thing. So maybe they they did something like I'm encased in a suit or something else that I can't see. Maybe there's something else that they're keeping me. What if we are the, oh my gosh, you just went there. What if we are the monster? I am the monster. I am going to be the monster that frees all the evil into the world. That is what Firmament is really about. Spoilers, guys. Sorry. I ruined the whole game for everybody. Okay. Let's see here. We live in a society. Yeah, right? The <laughs> prestige. Okay. There are eight of them, so you're clearly playing, planning multiplayer. Oh, gosh. Multiplayer is difficult to do correctly, so I'm not going to put that on Cyan. <laughs> They they know how that is. They did they did Uru. They know exactly what that is. Look, it's our friend the teapot. First, we're gonna wake you up really quick. Hi, wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. Okay, you have a lot to say. I'm gonna read this really quick. ZBGB. Yes, I did try walking in play space. It wouldn't let me out. Sorry. We just restarted. That's okay. I could have mentored you. Passed on the knowledge that was passed to me. But now I'm dead. Okay. I agree with others that this game needs um, some, whoops, some subtitles. And I'm sure that Cyan will put them in as an option or something. Okay, we want to get nice and close. Teapot. Oh, I missed you. Did you miss the teapot too? Did you miss the teapot? You missed the teapot? I missed the teapot. You guys missed the teapot? We have the teapot. Da -da -da -dun -da -dun. Nice little Zelda holding it up in the air, highlighted by the light. And me looking like, yeah, I've got the teapot. Look at me. I need to turn up her off. Yeah, I do think that her voice needs to be louder relative to the background music as well. But again, this is a technical demo, so it's not really representative of how the game is going to be. They're probably already aware that this is an issue. Let's go. Oops, wrong button. Okay, we've got the teapot. We're not going to lose the teapot this time, guys. Not going to lose the teapot. We're just going to go for it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start a speedrunning category for this game. There's going to be two speedrunning categories, with teapot and without teapot. We're also going to try tray at some point, but I think the teleportation doesn't work Teleportation doesn't work very well with the tray. Please go over there. There you come. All right, and there you go. Good job. Bridge time. Dun, 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 going on an adventure with the bridges. So the people who didn't see this earlier, you leave footprints. Where you step, and that's kind of cool. Tea, I think the teapot percentage. <laughs> yes, exactly. Come on, come on over. Right now, I think we're at like 40% teapot percent. Our aim is to get 100% teapot. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Okay. Go there, please. Come on. There you go. Good job. You can do it with the tray, but you have to place it on the ground, teleport, walk it back and forth. Oh, man. So that's that's a fun idea, but oh, I'm not doing that right now. I'm sorry. 
I think it would wear out my endurance. Gosh. So, a little bit about myself. I live in Hawaii. Um, I've only been streaming for about three or four months now. And I really love these types of games, adventure games, full playthroughs of games with a, a, a good story behind them. And because I'm in Hawaii, it's really hot here. So I'm wearing this VR headset. I am dripping in sweat at the moment. You didn't really need to know that, but I can only do this for so long. Still have the- No! What? Oh man, I get distracted and Teapot's gone. What happened? Oh, you guys are like my Teapot check. Where are you, Teapot? What happened? Oh man. You know, I think it's crossing the bridge that's doing it. Like, that's the loss of the Teapot. We cross the bridge and it just disappears. It's the teapot portal. Oh, sorry about that. Hi. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. The time has come to meet you again. Playing firmament with teapots. Ah. Oh. Sorry, guys. I, I tried. I really did try. The teapot is gone. What could have been? Okay, I'm gonna go all the way up here. And I'm gonna try... Whoops. Okay, we can actually rotate using the thumb buttons. Let me recenter myself a little bit. There we go. And I'm gonna try telling my friend to just go straight over there. Can you go over there? No? I have to wave you up first? Okay, gotta wave you. Whoa! Crunch goes that. And then please go over there. Look at that! So useful! So helpful. Don't, don't, hands free, don't want to pinch your fingers. That would be a really nasty pinch right there, if that were to happen. That adjunct is knocking it out of your hand, potentially. Yeah, the adjunct is like, no, you only get to have one friend. It's me or the teapot, and your choice is me. Well, if my choice is you, adjunct, at least you have... Oh, don't look at me like that. Oh my gosh talking to an inanimate object, or a semi-animate object. <clears throat> what is this thing? Sorry. Okay. Let's go ahead and head down the stairs and careful not to accidentally leave the terrain. Oh gosh, up Hillheim. Again. Okay. <sighs> We're gonna make it. It's not that far. It's just deep snow and it's cold. Okay. Whew. Yeah. All right, whoa, you're, you're right there. Okay, hi, friend. All right, on we go. I think it's a she. This might have a dead lady's consciousness. Oh, maybe. She, he. You could, you could be an. You could have a consciousness in you, and we just don't know it. I apologize if I was using the wrong, um, the wrong word for you, or the wrong pronoun. Pronoun. That's the word I'm looking for. Wrong pronoun. Don't get stuck again. I'm not. I'm not going in that side this time. We're gonna go straight through. We're just gonna go straight through and not worry about it. Okay. Okay, so for those of you who didn't watch earlier, we are now by the elevator. And we're gonna go ahead and head up the elevator here momentarily. Sorry, just checking the chat. Okay. Let's go ahead and head up the elevator. Okay, we have our plug. We're gonna plug you in. And we've got our, our lever, and we can take the lever and we can push it down, which doesn't do anything. We can go up, which does do something. Closed and good. Oh, away we go. Really climbing, you get a real sense of scale within the VR headset. And you can actually see the winch now. See, pulling up there. That's cool. Might just be recordings, who knows. Fund the game, guys, please do, yes. Please support this game. We really want to see this come live so we can have opportunities to either stream it for you or you guys get to play it yourselves. This is going to be an amazing game. All right, we're almost to the top. And here's the cage that's going to open on this side. Yes. Okay, let's go. Come on, friend. Come on, friend. Yay, come with me. Hi there. I'm gonna hold on to you just so I don't lose track of you and so you don't go f killing teapots on me. Ugh. Yes, the mystery cannot go unsolved. We want to know what is the mystery of Firmament. There's so much of a story here that could be told. Wow, look at the scale of this. I definitely feel small. 
yeah, amongst all this teapot murderer. I, we don't, we don't. Let's let's not throw accusations. Our friend here may not have have actually. Does this does this look like the eyes of a murderer to you? Whoa, whoa, hey, no, no, don't, don't, don't. I didn't mean anything. Okay, okay, we're gonna be nice, friendly, friendly adjunct, nice adjunct. Okay. Yeah, I know you're watching me. No, seriously, we're good. Okay. Okay. Guys, I think it's I think it's watching. Okay, we're just gonna go about this like nothing happened, okay? <laughs> I accuse you. Objection! Alright, let's 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 move along here on the bridge. We're gonna let you free float, so I don't have to worry about holding you. You can go up to the edge. Whew, look at that wind! It's like you can really feel it blowing up into the air here. Okay. Whoops! Not gonna go off a cliff. All right. There is the thing we have to do. Okay. This is my boot prints on the ground there. They're facing the wrong direction, but that's okay. I'm leaving boot prints. Okay, friend, we're gonna do this in two parts. We're going to stand over here, I think, so that I'm within like reaching distance. Oh, it's got a snap too. That's useful. So, a very common thing in games uh, and other and other um, virtual environments is is to make it easier for somebody to do something. You provide a target. So right now, I maybe I want to get really detailed. Like I want to stand on the edge of that rock right there, and it's kind of floaty. Like I can do it, but it's a little floaty. If I want to stand directly in front of this thing, you notice as I get closer to it, it snaps. And that snap too helps it. For orientation, so I, I am standing directly in front of the thing I want to use now. Smart move on science work, or on science part. Okay, go over there. Good job, go over there. Okay, you're charged, good. Now go over there. Oh, I have to wave you. Come over here. Now go over there. Quickly. Quickly. Don't have a lot of time. Okay, charged. We're charged. Okay, quick, come over here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Eh. Powered on. All right, give me a lever. I'm gonna pull the lever. All right. Whoa, that is impressive. Holy cow. The scale of that is amazing. We did it. <laughs> the lights move inside the little, I think it moves. It might, we don't know if that's like energy revolving around it or the sphere moving. Okay. The ancestor of the ghost from Destiny, maybe. Let's go ahead and head in here with oh, sparks. I don't want to burn myself. All right, guys, it's time to plug the adjunct into the wall, and we're never going to look back to see if it's a track. Oh, okay. Let me step outside. I'm going to free float you so I don't accidentally do something. Let's let's see if there is a um, something we can see back here. I want to be careful because I don't want to end up, like, stuck. Again, no, there doesn't appear to be anything back there that I can see. Let's try the other side. Um... There's that sticky point. Yeah, so I think it sinks, it either sinks down, like straight down, or, and I need to move because I'm way off the middle of my play space and I'm gonna hit a wall if I'm not careful. Okay. Yeah, I think it definitely goes down into the ground, Barco. That's, that's probably what's going on here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, grab you. Okay, we're gonna head in, If uh, look up. Okay, so there's there's a gear right there. I think that no, that's the gear of the hatch, like closing. I think because when it opened, there was a there was a gear right there. Uh, the windows do show movement. I agree with you. Maybe it goes up to the big thing. It might. We could be shooting down and then way up there. I I definitely want to explore up there though, because that is so cool looking. I want to check that out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. This is the last last requests. And no, I'm not going back for the tray, guys. The door closed, remember? Can't do that. Wish I could. The scale on this is really cool, though. All right. Counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Plugged. And there's the lever. All right. Let's hit it. Choom. Door closes, and we've got spinny stuff going on. Whoa, this is kind of trippy. 
Uh, some's definitely... Okay, that looks like movement up down. That's what that looks like to me. So I think we're sinking. Is what's going on. That's the perception I get. Uh, R.I.P. Teapot. 413 to 413. A noble companion. Until the end. Are we... Okay, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I think we sank. Because this... If I step out here... This really looks like we're underground. And I think that our... Our friend, the Cyan Sky Texture from Mist, Is, uh... Is overhead. This looks real... Oh, man, this just looks so cool. <laughs> Sideways movement. Movement in the direction of the door. It could be. Look above the thing. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, that's just the door moving down, and we could have come through there and it could have closed, for all we know. Um, in the full game there might be like a tunnel or something. But this looks like it was a came down. I don't know about sideways. It looks like the whole- either that or I teleported. There's no way to tell right now. Let's see if there's a hole or shaft. I still think it teleports. Yeah? That's a mystery that we won't know unless you guys fund the game. Spread the word. Let everybody know. I'm pointing at... It, it, you probably can't see the chat window that I have up in front of me. We must know. It's a mystery. Ha <laughs> ha. Good one, Bob Wiley. It's definitely a mystery. And... Some kind of teleporter? What is it? We won't ever know unless the game gets funded. So get out there. Fund the game. Spread the word, please. I am going to... Oh man, look at that banner. That just looks cool. See, you got the, the, the Firmament logo right there. And right there. Oh, that just the scale of all this. I know I keep saying that, but it just... Can I look close? I, this is about as close as I can get. Because if I go over there, it triggers the end. So I don't want to do that. This is, this is about as close in distance as I can get. But I can take a good look uh, for you guys so you can get uh, a look at it. It's very well done. The top looks like a... Just a, a pattern or some sort of a... a stream coming down from the heavens? I don't know. What's with the rumpled rug in the sphere? I think it's just decoration. I mean, you know, you had to put something in there so that it was cozy to stand on. When you get over to the end, look in each of the five light things. Okay, I will be sure to do that, Jeff. <laughs> Maybe an asset from another Cyan game as well. Yeah, so, Easter egg. That thing in the ceiling is in the ceiling on Mist Island. Uh, in the library, in the original Mist game, and you can see it. That asset may also be from another Mist game, but I don't recognize it. Maybe abduction? That's the only thing I can think of, because I don't remember a rug like that being in any other, um, any other Cyan game off the top of my head. Okay, I can get pretty close to this without triggering it, so, um, let me just kind of scoot up. This is about safe. So we've got, like, a person... I can't tell. That's a lightning bolt. That looks like a flame. That looks like a water drop. That one I can't tell from this distance. Um, so I'm just going to stand here for a moment so you guys can see that. Just in case you wanted to look. I like how the the, the patterns on the outside, uh, it's like this, this door lock that's going to rotate and then sink in because it can't open outward. No, it looks like it rolls. It looks like it might roll out to the side from the frame. And these, all these steam engines, or there's something inside of there being kept cooled or powered from all of this machinery that's, that we've got going on. I mean, look at, look at all those pipes. That's absolutely crazy. Wind, water, fire, earth, heart, people, heart, right? So, guys, I'm sorry to say, behind that door is Captain Planet. Mystery solved. Thanks so much for watching. That's it. This is Captain Planet. There's nothing else to say. Or, or, teapots. It's, it's like the home of the teapots. It's the teapot... The, the, the teapot nirvana teapot nirvana is behind that door guys and we couldn't bring the teapot back we tried so hard my goodness it's full of teapots it's nothing but teapots i'm gonna have to have cyan make a teapot emote for the chat now just because this is just too funny okay we're uh, i don't want to teleport out of bounds again by accident but you can see the the like leather or or modeling on the floor here that they did that's pretty cool my teapot valhalla my goodness. So there's some patterning going on. That's cool. I also really like the color and the kind of glass feel of this bridge. The patterning going on. Hey, you know what? Actually, actually, hold on a sec. If you look at that, 
pattern. Oh man, I smudged the floor. Don't don't tell anybody, okay, guys? I accidentally left some boot prints on. The, I'm sorry. I, I try and like wipe it out, but it it. it I won't tell anybody if you don't tell anybody, okay? Just just don't don't tell anybody. You should learn Substance Painter. Oh, man. I would love to have the time to be able to do that someday. I'm more of a code guy myself, though. So, anyway, this pattern on the floor here, if I teleport back over there, and then we turn around really quick, that pattern kind of looks like the pattern up there. If you look at the this little swirly part right here and in the middle, it looks exactly like the lower part of that pattern right there. Ah, ah. I play adventure games. I, I know, I know what's going on here. I kind of, I kind of got the, the the inside dig. I'm, I'm, I'm like, yeah, we, we kind of know. Give a thumbs up. I can't give a thumbs up. Can I press this? There. Power to the people or something. I don't know. So yeah, matching patterns. Interesting. Energy coming down for something to power something. It's like a motif. Absolutely. Um, yeah, this is all cooling tubes or, or turbines or energy or storage or something. We don't know. We, we won't know unless people back the Kickstarter. If you know, tell your friends, tell them to come and back the game. Hey, all the pipes seem to have something to do with cold. It could be, or they, okay. So the pipes outside were not like the snow hadn't melted around them. So we know it probably isn't heat pipes or they're not currently working. One of the two. Um, so they're either cold point. It's teapot in Latin. Oh man. <laughs> Has anyone translated the Latin, she says, and the end of the trailer. Somebody has somewhere. Um, if you check on the Firmament Reddit page, there should be something there as well. And I'm just going to meander over here really quick and press my magic button. Pardon the weirdness. There we go. That's the magic button. Please check out the Firmament Kickstarter at the URL posted. We really want to see this game backed. And with that note, I'm going to go ahead and meander back this way. And, oh, that's, this railing's kind of cool looking. How close? Oh, check that out. There's like a full-on spider web. Can I, can I, oh, okay, can't, can't break the spider web. But that's cool. I didn't see that last time either. Spider webbing. Like, somebody hasn't been here in a while, or ever. Little motes of dust. Hello. Oh, by mode of dust. It's, it's like, I want to know what's down there. I want to go down there, you know? And explore the unknown and the, just the huge pipes and all of this. Uh, please, no spiders. Uh, there's so, if you're not, oh, oh, how many of you have heard of Cho or Cho.cyan.com? I just had a thought. Those of you who know what Cho.cyan.com is know that it is a spoiler website for the original Riven game. Um, it came up in the 90s-ish, like late 90s, and it had secrets in it. You went there and you could click on things, and they revealed things. And I think this, you know, if maybe if we, like, poke at things. I want to be careful because I'm a little close to my wall. Hold on a sec. Let me back up. There we go. Now, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Okay, okay. We're not going to do that again. <laughs> um so cho.cyan.com was a secret, like a secrets website, and there was something there. Oh, it does kind of, is it? No, that's just the lighting from my hand. It's not actually moving, but it does give a cool effect. Hmm. Cho is currently broken, but yeah, I remember the ARG-esque thing you did there. Yes. Tried your bus twice with the teapot. I backed it at 70. Thank you, Metal Slime. I appreciate the backing on the game so much. Oh, man. So yeah, Cho was was like an ARG slash uh, secrets thing when Riven first came out. It was one of the early ARGs. Okay, is anybody so if anybody takes a look at the the Kickstarter website, how many backers are they at right now, and what is the current um, uh, funding amount? I want to know if it went up at all because I'm excited. I don't know. I want this game to be a thing really bad. Me too, Sporks. I want to find out what's going to happen. I want to know. I want to play it. I want to. I want to explore this amazing world that they've made. Oh, it's so impressive. We are at seven thirty-three. Good. The number has gone up. I am happy to hear that. So I'm going to go ahead and teleport to the bot spot. Oh, there's spider webs there. That's snow, lightning, leaf, and fire. Snow, lightning, leaf, fire. There you go, guys. 
and people. I can't go any closer. This is, oh, it did not target. I'm sorry. I thought I was, I don't have my headphones on, so I didn't know what was going on. That's funny. Sorry about that. It's a Pokemon game. <laughs> Ice, lightning, uh, uh, grass, and fire type. What's people type, though? Is that normal? Is that a type of a Pokemon? I don't know. Go teapot. I choose you. Fighting type. The scale is huge. Okay, that ends the entire thing. Thank you guys so much for coming to check all of this out and take a look at this game. Uh, I'm really excited for when this comes out. Uh, please spread the word about Firmament. Go to the website that's on the screen right in front of me. Check it out. Um, let other people know in your uh, communities, if you're on Discord, you've got your own Discords that you hang out on, or uh, other Reddit forums or things. Don't spam the link too much because, you know, some places they're not so great about, um, you know, I shouldn't say not so great, but they are in consideration of the fact that they don't want people spamming certain things there. So please be mindful of that. But also, yeah, spread it out. Thank you so much for the follow, Homunkly. And um, basically, this is this is like amazing. I think this is going to be an amazing game once it comes out. Um, I also want to plug really quick that I was not paid to to run this. I just asked Cyan, uh, hey, I'm really interested in helping to spread the word about this game, and they gave me this copy to run. So there is no financial... Um, I don't gain anything financially from this, except for you guys who are, who are following, so thank you so much for doing it. Oh, hi, Adjunct. How you doing? We're going to... Oh, you're so cute. Oh, yeah, you see, he's like even blinking green, so happy. I see now on Facebook that Trisha Hirschberger is playing it on Twitch tomorrow as well. I'll probably watch it again for her reaction. Yes, please do. And thank you for saying that. I wanted to bring her up. She'll be watching it at 10 a.m. PST tomorrow morning. Um, so please go watch it. I will host her stream tomorrow as well if you can't find it. So just come back to my page and then hop over to her stream from there. You'll be able to see it from there. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I will probably go take a break because I am oh, I'm really... I'm really hot right now from wearing a VR headset for the past however uh, however long I know. Yeah, that is kind of early in Hawaii. But then, you know, that's how it goes. 10, 9, 8, 7. 7 a.m. is not so bad. I mean, I'm usually up around 6, 37 in the morning, but I'm also insane. Uh, 10 a.m. PST, yes. And then we'll hopefully... Um, she's got way more followers than I do, to put it lightly. I've only got like 40-something, maybe 50 at this point. I don't really pay attention. Uh, but she's got like 19k plus. So hopefully she'll be able to get lots of people backing the game. 19,000 more people backing at $50 a person will fund the game. Just like that. So hopefully she'll be able to get the word out and get lots of people to check it out. I'm really excited for everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for this stream. If you liked the content that I'm doing, I really appreciate a follow. But otherwise, no pressure. Don't worry about it. I'm not trying to do this financially. I'm just doing this to have fun. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and take this headset off. I was up until 2 a.m. last night playing Overwatch. <laughs> hey, did you? how did you do? Did you? Um, were you doing competitive Overwatch? We can do it. We can do it, I believe, in all of us making this happen. And thank you guys for, so much for joining in, Metal. I appreciate it. Just Mystery Heroes and Quick Play. I finally finished my, my uh, play placements last night i got 21 24 i think in overwatch so that was really cool misty heroes and quick play and i played a lot of quick play too competitive is fun but i'm not very good at it regardless thank you again for watching bye bye little adjunct we had fun i will be back i'm going to take this headset off and set it down oh and we will come back to this another time as I get all far away from everybody. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Thanks again for watching, guys. I will catch you all later on another stream. Watch for a missed playthrough soon. Take care.